Welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. When we last left off, we were in the middle of cutscenes. Let's continue those cutscenes as we look at what I assume is a planet. And it looks like it's being torn apart from the inside out. This doesn't look good for anybody that could happen to be on there. I would say we are joined by somebody, but we're not joined by anybody today. It is just me and cutscenes. And... I have no idea what happened there, but it did not look good. Didn't look good at all. Hopefully nobody we know is on that planet. What's one and a half billion people to us? One and a half billion people, dude! They're innocents. Surely they deserve more respect. Respect? For what? Margulis. Save your philanthropy for someone that cares. Seriously, dude? The experiment may have been a failure. But I've taken steps to recover the emulator. the emulator. If the need arises, I'm not against using the original either. All we have to do is repeat the process until we get results. The emulator did that? That's ridiculous. Is this all too much for your conscience to bear, Pellegrin? Pellegrin, huh? In that case, feel free to reveal everything and wait for your death sentence. What about you? Me tried in a court of ignoble commoners? Don't make me laugh. We are the ones who determine life or death. But wait. Pellegri, are you telling me that you've forgotten everything we've been striving for these past 14 years? 14 years? Isn't that since the Milchian conflict? Commander Margulis. What? A message from Lieutenant Commander Vanderkam, sole survivor of the Vanguard Force. The unit was decimated. The Zohar emulator unsecured. What? Where's the Zohar now? Location unknown. Possibly seized by the Gnosis. Yeah, they got it. I see. Notify the 474th Spec Ops Fleet. We may need to implement Plan 31. Have them stand by in the specified coordinates for further orders. Yes, sir. Interesting. Vandercam, uh, I don't think they ever really say it. Vandercam is the, the guy with the, the purple X. If, we, if they do say it, I don't remember them saying it, but that's who they're talking about. Uh, so, death of 1.5 billion people apparently is nothing. So let's go to 5th Jerusalem and join the Jedi Council already in process. Where's Yoda? There he is not. So, what can you tell us about this man? He was a special forces agent with the Federation Police. A counter-terrorism specialist. Of course, that was over a hundred years ago. Now he's a cyborg working freelance missions. A cyborg? How anachronistic. He's a relic from the days when they reanimated the dead. What? They didn't have disposable realiums like we do now. What the hell are you guys on about well, a cyborg? Well, certainly got quite a resume. Rumor has it he deliberately seeks out missions with low odds of success. Is he insane or just fascinated with death? Well, he's been given a clean bill of mental health. It doesn't look like he does it for the killing. Hmph. Advances in science have placed thousands of drugs on our shelves. And yet, we still let psychiatrists wield their influence over us. They use these assessments to validate their existence. I don't believe them one bit. I don't trust him either. Psychiatrists. Well, he's got an extremely high success rate. I think he'll be fine. Sir, he's here. Show him in. Margulis, by the way, was an example of Nietzsche's Ubermensch, Superman. I'll go more into that later, I think. That'll be all. Is that him? Yes, sir. Cyborg? He's got... It's mostly metal, it looks like now. Ziggurat 8, isn't it? Upon your death in TC4667, you donated your body and chose to become a product of Ziggurat Industries. That's correct. Have you heard about the mission? No. Recently, we received information that a certain armed group has shown signs of resurgence. This same group was responsible for the events that took place 14 years ago. The UTIC organization? That's UTIC. right. The information we've received from our independent sources has helped to identify the location of the UTIC organization's hideout. Sounds familiar. I don't think we learned anything about you, Tish. This structure was originally a shrine for some long-lost ancient religion. 
was eventually abandoned and remained uninhabited for centuries. What? A shrine so, in space? you want me to infiltrate and collect information on the group? If that was all we needed, we would have left it to our intelligence agency. Actually, to put it simply... Kick ass? We need you to rescue someone and return her to her rightful place. Oh, rescue mission, of course. And technically, she's not human. Just tell me what I need to know. Mm -hmm. What? Why are you laughing? He sounds very professional. A child? Is she a civilian? She's a Realian. A 100 series Realian. Ah. You've heard of them? They were supposed to be on the 100 Lord series Lord. observational Realians. Built specifically to combat the Gnosis. Wait, what? I've heard rumors of them. The little girl? But I didn't know they were disguised as children. Yeah, seriously, what the hell's going on here? Is this the first time you've seen the real thing? Yes. But isn't Vector already mass-producing them? This is a prototype. It will serve as the model for all future 100 series observational units. So, what you're telling me is that securing this little girl takes priority over all else, right? It helps that you're a quick study. So, will you take the mission? A cyborg has no rights. I cannot refuse your request. What? I will analyze the situation and let you know what weapons and resources I need. Interesting. So I don't mean to demand any compensation, but may I make one request? Go ahead. After my return, I ask that you eliminate the neural memories residing in my brain from my previous life. That's what? not a problem. But it could be a difficult procedure with a body as outdated as yours. He, he doesn't look that as old. As many synthetic parts as necessary. What an odd request. These days, realians are clamoring for human rights. But here's a man who wants to become a machine. All right, we'll make the arrangements. Thank you. Yeah, we do get... You can get the specifics from her, Dr. Yuri Mizrahi, later. Well, I'm sure that name's not important at all. Yuli M Mizrahi. But we do get an interesting dichotomy here between realians and this cyborg. Cyborgs have no rights. Realians do have rights. He was once a man, but died and then was resurrected with synthetic parts. Well, well. He didn't die in the line of duty. It says here he committed suicide. One shot in the head from his beloved pistol. Oh. Did you say suicide? How ironic. Can we entrust the 100 series to that man? What if his self-destructive tendencies arise? Not to worry. He's been equipped with a safety mechanism which prevents him from hurting himself or abandoning his mission. Of course he has. He's more machine than man now, isn't he? But he doesn't even remember his name. He was brought back to life against his will. Oh. Once he replaces the rest of his brain with synthetics, he'll be a complete machine. Only then will he be legally dead. How ironic the guy that tries to kills, kill himself gets revived. And has no choice in the matter because now he's a cyborg because he donated his body to a cyborg creating company of some kind. How are you feeling, 100 series realian? Is the food here unsatisfactory? Do realians eat? Even realians require nourishment, you know. Apparently they do. Are the Federation's 100 series realians so ill-mannered that they don't even reply to simple questions? I don't like that name. Well, my goodness, pardon me. And what would you like to be called, Miss 100 Series Realian? I don't like strangers to be calling me by my name. Oh, she's Where cute. Where are you planning on taking me? That, I'm afraid, is not for you to know. What will happen to me? You're going to help us out. Machines like you exist to be used. What happens to you after that, God only knows. Lower Assuming case for God. you people even have a God, that is. All I can really do is seek out and find the Gnosis. I can't help you with anything. That may be true. But this part of you is a little different. 
We'd like to have a word with the man you have hidden inside of you. Kinky. Yeah, what, what, what is he In talking any about? In case, you'd best be keeping yourself alive as long as possible. He will be arriving soon. What's so special about this little girl? This little realian? I'm not sure I understand. And yes, for the record, this is a Japanese game, therefore they have absolutely no problem doing upscope shots of the fake little girl. You'll get used to it. Maybe. 46 hours later. That's all it takes? I don't know how close we are. But 46 hours, not even two days. Of course, what's day and night when you're in space like that? They'd probably call it something different, like standard days, or earth days, or something like that. That was kind of weird. Ah! Sneaky, sneaky. That's right. It's time for the stealth portion of the game. Ho hooray! I'm so good at stealth. Oh, God. <laughs> this is going to be awful, I think. Let's see. The mission objective is to rescue a 100 series realian. Now where is she being held captive? I don't want to cause a commotion unless I find the realian. It would be best to avoid unnecessary confrontations. So in other words, don't get into a fight. But we do have a new character, so let's take a look at him. His name is Ziggurat8. Uh, that will not be his name forever. Uh, just, just in case you guys don't follow along, but you should be able to just fine. Uh, let's take a look at his ether. I don't think he has any points. Yeah, he doesn't have any points, uh, but he's got my guard. Focuses his physical defense. Uh, that's what he's got so far. Is it set? Yes, it is. Could I use ether points? Uh, evolve. Will they even let me, like, look? Is there a way to look? No, I don't think there is, unfortunately. So, that's it for Ether. He can up his physical defense. He is going to be pretty much a tank. You can tell by his HP. Holy crap, 400 HP at level 7. Ridiculous. Tech attacks. Uh, he has Cyber Kick and Lightning Fist. Cyber Kick looks awesome. I'll try to use it once in a while, but Lightning Fist is pretty much what I'm going to be using for the most part. Lightning, very, very nice. Very nice element at this point in the game. Uh, does he have anything that I could extract? He does! He has the Kobold Ring, which I can extract Evade plus two from. Why couldn't I do that before? With somebody else. Here. And in terms of equipment, he does have the BMP55SX. I have no idea what any of that stands for. It sounds cool though. He's got the Cyborg... what does this even say? It says Beam Pod. It does an ether attack of 135%. It's line and a beam, so should there be something in the back, but that rarely ever comes up, but it's a beam attack, and that is technically an element. Uh, physical defense up, thanks to V... I'm going to say that's, a, that's an O. Yeah, it's an O. Vol G10, blue ring, dexterity, white ring, agility. Wait, do I have to unequip? I think I actually have to unequip yeah, I've forgotten, I've forgotten how to use skill points. That is my bad. I'll try to remember that. Uh, you'll notice that he can't do anything with eggs. Um, and we can't even look at the UMN, so even if I wanted to look at the database, I could not do it for now. All right, so um, I don't think I'm supposed to run. Can I walk? No, he just got loud as hell. Uh, I don't think I need to save at this point, so I'm just going to move on. How do I, there is a way, right? There we go. R2 will do it. Still pretty damn loud, I must say. So let us head over here. If I remember correctly, I want to blow these up. Yes, he somehow has the vaporizer too. Uh, and we can get a scope out of that. Can I blow this up? I can. Nobody seems to care or notice. And I have two ether upgrade S's and I am going to use those right now because this is actually a fairly challenging part of the game. 
Uh, so I'm going to do what I can to make this easier for myself. So, Ether Upgrade S's, and we're going to use both of them on Ziggurat here. God, I'm going to be... I might call him by his nickname later on, but try to keep it for, for his official name for now. Now we can use our ether points to evolve my guard, and we're going to turn that into recharge first and foremost. That is most important. HP recovery mid-level. Very nice. And we are going to evolve bodyguard again to body... well, no, sorry. Upgrade my guard again to bodyguard. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Now we need to go and set those. Each of those carries a weight recharge, weighs two. I don't know exactly how that works, but whatever. We can still use all of it so we don't need to mess around with what we can and can't, I guess, hold on to, equip, whatever, whatever the phrase is for what you do with ethers. We don't need to worry about that just yet. As long as I'm Actually, can I run through here? I don't think that's a problem. And I don't think there is anything else. We've got giant sword and shield eggs hanging out. And it looks like I've already triggered a cutscene. Cool. Just It looks like a medieval dungeon tunnel that we're going through here. That better disappear. It does. Space technology. It's awesome. Honestly, all that would need would just be like a camera type thing. You know, as long as it wasn't supposed to be permanent cloak, it should work pretty standard. You know, it looks like we're in like a gothic cathedral to me. Medieval, gothic, give or take, somewhere around there. You know what I mean? Uh oh. Damn it. A malfunction. You don't sound so upset about it. I see. So that 100 series Realian is encoded with extensive amounts of research data left behind by the founder of UTIC? Ah. Yes. So that's why it's she's data so special. That could affect the entire fate of mankind. What is the founder's involvement? The founder of UTIC was the same man who advocated the creation of that child, the 100 series observational unit. Joachim Mizrahi, a madman who lost his humanity by immersing himself in science. Mm. You look as if you have something to say. Cyborg, do you have anything to say? I like your yes, legs. Yes, you guessed correctly. He is my ex-husband. Ex do you want to know what it was like being married to a murderer? No. <laughs> no, I don't care. <laughs> In any case, it's certain that the organization is frantically trying to get its hands on that data. I'm afraid we don't have much time to spare. Understood. I'll be leaving tomorrow at 0600 hours. Our hopes rest on you. 